Hi everyone, my name is Michael and I'm a librarian at the San Francisco Public Library. And for today's STEM challenge, we're going to discover surface tension by dropping water on a penny. But before we get started, do you know what STEM means? STEM is an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So what makes uh, drops on a penny a STEM challenge? Uh, cohesion and surface tension play a role in this activity. Cohesion is the attraction of molecules of a substance that make them stick together. For this case, uh, the molecules of water stick together. Surface tension is a special term that we use when um, there is cohesion between water molecules that make the surface stronger and makes the drop bigger. Before we get started, we're going to go over the materials. So the materials I have here on the table is what you need for the challenge. You would need a paper towel, you need some soap, you need a penny, you need a cup of water, and you would need a straw. So let's get started. So first, you would take your paper towel and you place the paper towel on your table. The next, you would put the penny on the paper towel. Next, you would find your straw and then you would take the straw out of the wrapper. Next, you have your straw and you have your cup of water. So go ahead and place the, the straw into the cup of water. And once you do that, take your thumb and place your thumb over the top of the straw. And once you do that, go ahead and raise the straw. And once you raise the straw, you have some water in the, in the straw. Go ahead and release your thumb from the top and the water will drop out. Go ahead and practice this a couple of times until you get a hang of it. And once you get a hang of it, we're gonna move on to the next step. So the next step is gonna be very similar. You're gonna be doing this as well. Go ahead, place the straw into the cup, then place your thumb over the top. But now do not uh, release your thumb as quickly. Release your thumb very little so that little drops of water will drop from the straw. Go ahead and practice this until you get a hang of it. So you should have little drops drop from the straw. And once you get a hang of it, we could start the activity. Okay, so now we're gonna start. So go ahead, place the straw into the cup of water, place your thumb over the top of the straw. Then we're gonna move the straw over to the penny and we're gonna see how many drops of water will stay on the penny before it kind of flows over. So, so why don't you go ahead and make a prediction of how many drops of water will stay on, on a penny before it flows over. And we could kind of see if it kind of matches what you think after we do it. So we're gonna start. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we successively dropped nine drops of water on a penny and it spilled over. So was this your prediction? Was it higher than you predicted or was it lower than you predicted? Go ahead and wipe off your penny and try again. So we're gonna try one more time. So go ahead and place a straw into a cup of water and we're gonna start all over again and see how many drops will fit on a penny right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we successfully put 10 drops of water onto Penny before it spilled over. Was this different from the first time you predicted? So next, we're gonna try something different. Go ahead and take a new piece of paper towel and place the towel onto your table and place the penny up top. Now we're gonna work, be working with soap. So we're gonna be placing soap into the cup of water and we can see if there's a difference. 
in the amount of drops you could place on a penny. So go ahead and mix it up. Okay, and we're going to do the same process again. So we're going to be placing the straw into the cup of water, then we'll place the finger over top of the, the straw, and then we're going to see how many drops of water will stay on a penny with soap in the water. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there you can see we placed six drops onto the penny with soap. And was this a little bit different than before? Um, there are many factors that go into this. The, the height of the straw matters as well too, and the amount of water you drop onto the penny matters as well too. So even if you count one drop, there might be more water or less water. So now you have just completed uh, this, the drops on a penny challenge. I want to thank you for joining us today. If you are interested in the topics that we discussed, like surface tension or water molecules, you could go to your local library and ask a librarian for book recommendations. And also, be sure to check out our YouTube channel for other STEM challenges as well too. I want to thank you for joining us today, and I hope to see you guys soon.